Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews, and I'm going to show you how to do the overlays very easily with Camerafy. So, let's start off with YouTube, since it's a little easier to work with. When you're working with YouTube, it's really easy. We're going to, go up, we're going to start off with our little Start button here. And then, uh, we're all set up. We're going to press our Begin Record button. And uh, here it says Roberto Matthews is broadcast. If we click here on the schedule icon, it'll bring up anything we've pre-scheduled. We can uh, select this or start our own new live stream. We can have it set up to be public, unlisted, or private. We're going to go ahead and make it unlisted. We can either go with an event or go with actually stream now, which is the default. Okay. And uh, of course, we could do 720p or we can do 1080p or we can go all the way down to 480p okay so we're just going to stay at 720 and let's go ahead and create so we're going to go ahead and create now there's several things here that we can do before we actually press the record button to stream live we can go ahead and put here uh, we can share and we can create a thumbnail from uh, from here so we can go ahead and choose a thumbnail so I have a I have a whole bunch of uh, saved pictures on my Android phone that I can choose from and so I'm going to put here Misa and Biesa Pronto which is the uh, mass is starting soon icon okay and so that that we have that all set up now we can uh, go ahead and go back change our uh, channel if we'd like but let's go ahead and press start so we're gonna press go ahead and press start it's gonna give us the starting soon mode so of course I highly suggest that you get started way before the actual time you need to get started and put an overlay and I'm going to show you how to do that because you don't want to have to wait for this to connect and you know lose maybe the first couple of minutes of your live broadcast so let's imagine that we're gonna have something set up first before we record so let's set it up here we want to make sure that we have in our favorites some pictures or you can just go through your pictures and check for something. Normally what you would do or you would think to do is to click on image. So if we click on image and add an image and go to our favorites and for in instance uh, put here, let's say we put this prayer here. The prayer is set up here and it's movable. You see that? And if we go to the bottom right hand, the bottom right hand corner here, we can resize it we can move it around and once we press the on button let's uh, move it around here once we press the on button it's actually on or we can press this button here to make it be on and as you can see it's up and running right here now the only problem is we can't delete it this way if we press the off button here it actually stays here now we can move it around but this is not actually the way you want to put a picture I found out what you're going to do let's delete this and there's a hidden feature in camera Fi that you need to know we're gonna right click we're gonna swipe here we're gonna to go to video and when we go to video and press add it's actually gonna give us not just video but picture so when we do photo here do the same thing pick up our picture now you have a new video which is actually a, a, a photo when we click on for that it gives you the prompt and now you have your picture set it up just like that and so now we can say turn it off oh and make sure we turn off turn on our main camera and now our main camera is set up again okay so that's basically how you do it. Obviously, we can add audio, so we can go ahead and let's let's add an audio piece here. We're not going to be able to hear it, but let's go ahead and add it anyway. And so maybe while people are waiting, we can put 
this piece of audio here with this video here. And now you have it. You have background music with this uh, photo in the background, okay? And I'm having buffering issues. So once we're wanting to go live, we can go ahead and go live here and make sure we change our audio. And now we have our audio and our video live again. So let's go ahead and stop this. And there's our poster that we're going to have that we added earlier. So let's say we're going to set up our stream and we want to make sure that we have a waiting sign or starting soon before we even get started. We could do that already, even before hitting the record button. We can go ahead and set up a new picture. And this picture, for instance, is going to say mass starting soon. So now we have mass starting soon right here. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing. We can create, let's go ahead and create an unlisted event. And do the same thing. We can share our event or we can put a new poster and let's say we'll say go. Now I can set this up maybe 10 minutes before the service starts and we'll be ready to go. Now this will be the first thing people see when we go live. And then once we want to start, we can go ahead and switch this to our camera. And now we're ready to go. So that's basically how you want to do that type of overlay. On our next video, we're going to talk about how to do lower thirds. And we're also going to talk about how to do a nice countdown. Thank you very much.